Dr. Brian Sykes, a human genetics professor at Oxford University, wrote that the Y chromosome is flawed and doomed. He was asked about his writings in a 2004 article in the New York Times. Dr. Sykes stated, by my estimate, is in about 5,000 generations, 125,000 years, male fertility will be roughly 1% of what it is now. Mutations in Y chromosomes are already known to reduce male fertility. So I see a slow decline in men's fertility until eventually men can no longer breed naturally. Unfortunately for Dr. Brian Sykes and many others, he has been proven 100% wrong. If you have ever taken a biology class in the last 20 years, you have no doubt seen pictures of the beefy, healthy-looking X chromosome we associate with being female. Paired next to the healthy and voluptuous X chromosome is the very diminutive Y chromosome. The pathetic, the weak, the brutish, and the unrefined male contribution to our genetic code. Just look at how tiny that chromosome is. New research confirms, however, guys, your Y chromosome is an evolutionary marvel. That is the title of an NBC News article written by Tia Goes in 2012. Not only is the Y chromosome not flawed and doomed, it is actually far superior in terms of evolutionary progress than the entire human genetic code combined. Over the last several million years, the rest of the human genetic code has evolved from apes at a rate of about 2%, sharing about 98% of its genetic code with apes. However, the Y chromosome, that former harbinger of the end of the male gender, has evolved from apes at, a, at an astounding rate compared to the X chromosome and to the rest of the human genetic code. The Y chromosome has evolved at a whopping 30% over that same time period, meaning the Y chromosome shares only 70% of ape DNA. Not only has the Y chromosome evolved so quickly, but some of the genetic code is completely new and not even seen in other primates. Dr. David Page, David Page of the Whitehead Institute at Cambridge Mass, said in 2010, Natural selection is shaping the Y and keeping it vital to a degree that is really at odds with the idea of the last 50 years of the rotting Y chromosome. Dr. Page went on to say, it is now clear that the Y chromosome is by far the most rapidly evolving part of human and chimp genomes. Interesting. You mean men aren't going to die out and become totally irrelevant? That's good news. In a 2010 AP article titled Male Genes Evolve Faster, the author was quick to keep us men in check, lest we grasp at straws that assign value to being uniquely male. The AP article author gave us men a very firm warning. Before men get too impressed with themselves, and then quoted Jennifer Hughes, co-author of the study, just because the Y chromosome, which determines gender, is evolving at a speedy rate, it doesn't necessarily mean men themselves are more evolved. So in other words, the same logic which Dr. Brian Sykes of Oxford University used to predict the end of men cannot be used when a genetic discovery confirms that Y chromosomes are an absolute marvel. Can somebody get me a fucking throw up bag? Thanks for listening.